Hello there, my name is John Fanukan. I'm principal clarinetist with the RTE National Symphony Orchestra of Ireland and professor of clarinet here at the Royal Irish Academy of Music. And today, I'm going to take you through some of the first steps in making your first clarinet sound. Now, at your first lesson, your teacher will have assembled the clarinet for you so as not to damage it. Um, probably the easiest way of making the first sound is to take off the top bit, the barrel and the mouthpiece, with the reed attached, and learn how to make this sound. Now, there are two or three steps in finding this rather unnatural position. The first one is to find where to put our lower lip. If we use our finger around about here and slide our lower lip in over our bottom teeth like this, we can find a position where we feel that the, the lower lip is a sort of a cushion between the finger and the teeth. The finger will eventually be the clarinet mouthpiece and the reed. So we find that position, try and remember what it feels like, and then do the same thing with the mouthpiece, with the reed touching your lower lip. In it goes to there. You can slide it up, you can slide it up and down until you find a comfortable position, which we'll do for now. The second thing we need to think about is where to put our teeth on the top part of the mouthpiece. For now, just put it about there. That's position two. Some teachers, some players use their upper lip as well. We won't do that in this um, episode, but we put our teeth on this. Now, I have a rubber patch here on the mouthpiece, which I think is a very good idea for young players. Um, it makes it much more comfortable. They're available in all your uh, musical instrument shops. And I will put my teeth about here. We go like this, over the lower lip, teeth on top. And the third thing we need to do is to close our upper lip around the mouthpiece, making a nice, tight, elastic band cushion. We do the three of those, over the lip, down with the upper teeth, close the mouth, and blow. And that's your first sound. So once again, to remind you of the sound we're looking for, it's quite pleasant, really. If it doesn't work straight away, there are a number of reasons. One could be that you're not taking enough mouthpiece into your mouth. That's approximately where I would be taking it, but a lot of beginners only take this much in, and some take far too much in. So we need to find out approximately what to do. If you look sideways at a mouthpiece and with a reed on, you can see that the reed joins the mouthpiece at about that point there. This is, of course, different from mouthpiece to mouthpiece, but for mine, it's about there. And that's the spot on the other side of the mouthpiece where we should put our teeth. The second thing we can do for students, particularly younger students, if they have difficulty or if they're sliding up and down on the mouthpiece, with a knife, we can actually make a small incision at the appropriate spot, um, making a tiny hole in the rubber, making sure you don't go through to the mouthpiece, of course. And that's a spot where the student can actually anchor their upper teeth. It's a temporary measure and shouldn't be kept on like that for more than a few weeks until the student develops an ability to find automatically the spot. If you don't take enough in, you get a sort of nothing sound. If you take too much in, it's a little bit wild. Now, the second thing that can prevent us getting a nice sound is if we bite too much. That is, if we bring our upper teeth and lower teeth too close together, squashing the reed against the mouthpiece. This is easily fixed by concentrating on these muscles here and trying to pull them a little bit forward like that, which usually loosens up the sound. And the third thing that prevents us having nice sound is actually our breathing. Now, I'm going to put the clarinet together again properly now before we do this one. The teacher will do this for you. And now we try and make what's called open G. This is with no fingers on the clarinet at all. We get this sound. Now, I'll recap on some of the information I've just given you. If I don't take enough mouthpiece in my mouth, I get a rather sad sound. I'm going to progressively take more and more and more into my mouth, sliding my upper teeth along the mouthpiece and taking a little bit more reed inside my mouth on each occasion. So, the first one. It's quite dead. 
That was a little more, and it's a nicer sound. Pretty good, pretty clear. Now I'm going to take even more, and we get what we call a squeak. For me, I have an imaginary line on the reed, which is about here, and I call that the squeak line. And if we go past that squeak line, we lose control over the reed, and we get that noise. It's a pleasant enough noise, but not what you're looking for today. So I go back to my favourite spot, which is here, and I have open G.